Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you all are having a good day. Um, so today I was going to review the new Tolkien book that just came out. Um, got it last Wednesday, I believe. It took me four days. I am kind of busy, so with work and stuff, so I you know, had to parcel it out. And um, But I read it. I enjoyed it. I enjoy most of what Tolkien wrote. Um, this is, I would say, more of a, of a scholarly nature, and I think that's pretty much all that's left of his stuff to be published is anything that, you know, he wrote as a professor. All of his Middle Earth stuff is pretty much out there now. Um, but, so Tolkien translated uh, an Anglo Saxon poem, The Battle of Malden, into modern English. I have actually read both the Old English and modern, modern English translations of this. Um, this is a prose version that he wrote, as it says in the cover of the book, together with the uh, homecoming of Bjorknoth, known as, also call it, the homecoming of Bjorknoth Bjorthelm's son, which is the full title. It was done as a play, I guess, well, it was it was on the BBC radio where he, he did this, but it was meant to be like as a kind of a little play. And uh, came out 1953, the year before the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, the Homecoming is a sequel to the Battle of Mountain that he wrote. And uh, but the Battle of Mountain is about um, a battle near Essex in England between the English and the Vikings. Uh, the commander of the English army, Bayork Noth, is uh, you know killed. They are defeated. The English are defeated. His head is hewn off as after he is killed, I believe. I don't think that's how he died, but the Battle of Mountain is a, you know, like I said, Anglo Saxon poem that talks about what happened in that battle. And so Tolkien translated did a prose translation of it. Also included in this book is the essay Tradition uh, The Tradition of Versification. Um if you are a fan of Tolkien's works, I do highly recommend this. It is more of a scholarly nature. Um, nothing to do with Lord of the Rings or Middle Earth, but in the appendices in the back, there is one where the editor does talk about how how it's kind of connected. Um, and so, yeah, if you're a fan of Tolkien, I highly recommend this. Um, I enjoyed it, again. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. I would probably give it, well, a 5 out of 5, because anything with Tolkien, I'm going to rate pretty highly. Even if it's, you know, scholarly work, and there might be some in there that I may not quite understand. But if I probably read it multiple times, like I've done with other stuff of his, yeah, I'll learn. Um, but, yeah, yeah. That is all. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all later.